Some of you have probably heard me in the past say that I was interested in finding a little stainless steel Bauer 25 ACP. Now these are the little stainless steel American made clones of the little pocket Brownings. Uh, now I've said it many, many times that boy I'd really like to find one, boy I'd really like to find one, and I would complain about boy I never can find one near me, never can find one in good shape, never can find one at a decent price. Well, someone who watches my videos and watches the live chats, uh, Fatty with a Firearm, uh, is too young to realize that sometimes guys my age just bitch about things just to have something to bitch about and we really don't want to do anything about it. So he took it upon himself, he found some that were listed on arms list that were near me. Well, he said near me, it actually was over a two hour drive there and back, uh, which actually kind of turned into a seven hour drive there and back, but uh, that's another story. So since he found them for me, I was kind of uh, stuck and, you know, had to put up or shut up and uh, contact the guy about whether they were still for sale and how much they were and what kind of condition they were in. And so I did contact the guy and they were for sale. So I decided I'll run up there and get them. So this here is a little uh, video guide of my trip up to get these little pocket pistols, these little mouse guns. So I call this the mouse gun road trip. All right, we're on our way to Seattle. That's about a two hour drive each way to pick them up. Uh, we're making pretty good time. Actually, right now we're down to about 60. But we're usually been doing about 80 most of the way there today. So, uh, we're going to get there pretty quickly. My son is thrilled to be going to Archie's Island. Yeah. And I uh, should be there in about another hour. Pick him up and head home. What's the capital of Washington? Olympia. Olympia? Are you sure? Yeah. Who gave it away? I just know it. You know it? So they actually do teach you something in school? Uh, well, here's traffic jam number two that we've hit since our way up here. Hopefully this time there won't be a semi on fire full of brand new Subarus up here like there was the last one we hit. We should have gotten a video of that, but it didn't. But we're almost there. Tyler's thrilled, as usual. Okay, the last two miles has taken 40 minutes. Didn't take that long to do the first 50 miles. So hopefully we'll get there soon. I uh, personally blame uh, fat ass with a firearm for this, or fatty with a firearm for this. So he's the one that made me have to come up here. So this is all his fault. Well, we're stuck in traffic, Zyla. You should dance for me to keep me entertained. Yeah. Come on, do your milkshake dance for me. Do the milkshake dance. You did it for me when you were little. Do the milkshake dance. I don't have a milkshake dance. Come on. Come on. You did it for me when you were little. Do the milkshake dance. I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, I don't. Come on. Shake it. Do you want to get out and walk around? No. Boop! Now you had your baby ears. Little baby ears. Little baby ears. Who's got little baby ears? Who's got little baby ears? Okay, I think I'm here. I think I'm supposed to meet the guy behind this Mexican restaurant. So we will see if there is a Honda back here. Head northeast on Pacific Highway Southwest. There's nobody in that Honda. Let's see. In 350 feet, nobody in the destination Honda. is on your left. Am I in the right place? Let's see. It would be wonderful to come all this way and get off on the wrong exit and be in the wrong place.
Okay, there they are. There's what we came all this way for. So now we can head back. Are you thrilled to be heading back now? Finally. Finally. Ooh, it's been a whole two hours out of your day, hasn't it? Yes. I've been in the car since I woke up. Well, no one made you sleep till you left. You know what made me go, though? Alright, we're making a pit stop. Where are we stopping at? You don't know what this place is called? No. Cabela's, I just told you. I don't pay attention to what you said. Someone is a little less pissy now because he's shoving ice cream in his face. Yeah. Are you shoving ice cream in your face? Uh, I already answered that. Okay, after a long trip, we have to replenish our energy. So, where do we stop at, Zyler? KFC. KFC, is that your favorite? No. Whose favorite is that? Yours. Mm. And mine. And yours. Okay, you can quit hitting my seat. All right, and here they are two little Bauer 25 ACP pistols. You know, I'm not really sure what the model name of these are, but they are stainless steel. They're American made. As you can see, they have these uh, little pearlite grips, the fake pearl grips. The grips are a little thick, but they're kind of cute. I would like to get some wood grips for these, but I actually kind of like the ones these came with. Uh, now, I will give you a little bit better view of these guns later, give you a little more in-depth review, but I just wanted to show you what they look like here. As you can see, it is just basically a little stainless steel baby browning. So two of these, this little matched set here, is what I went all the way up there for. And now I'm kind of glad I did because they are pretty cool. Now I haven't decided if I'm going to keep both of them or if I'm going to sell one and just keep one. Uh, they would be kind of cool. I could uh, maybe dual wield in uh, garter belts, like, like a double garter belt carry, one on each leg. So they're pretty cool. They're, they're, they're kind of like little prostitute guns, though. Uh, what a lot of people would think of as, you know, little prostitute guns, little Derringer kind of a thing from back in the, uh, the day. But uh, very, very cool. I even picked up a couple boxes of uh, 25 ACP ammo while I was at uh, Cabela's there, as you saw earlier. So I actually picked up some ammo for them and everything. They each only come with one mag, but, you know, still pretty cool guns. I'll do a more in-depth review of them soon, but I just wanted to give you a little look at them here. And when I give you a little more in-depth uh, look at them, I will cover their build quality, reliability. Uh, I'll even talk about the 25 ACP round, but keep your eyes open for that. But for right now, I just wanted to show you the, tr the, the guns themselves and what I went through to get them.